That is why uh, I don't know if I have quoted this that Jesus said, and this is why this is the reason why I speak parables today. Because as to hearing, they don't hear. As to seeing, they don't see. You can see. So that you can understand. If he says he and his father were one, it doesn't mean that he is the same as God. No. Because, you know, in the, in the Bible, there are so many certain verses that you can never compare unto God. Who, who shall you like? Like in God. You can see, the Bible said this. Oh, the, 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 the to whom shall you, you like in God? God? The Bible said that. And even in a certain place in the Old Testament, we have it that God said, it is, it is written, where God, where man was compared to the maggots. You can either compare maggots How much to less man is? So can you compare who is a maggot? Someone and the son of man, who is a maggot? To God. And truly we are maggots. We came from a maggot. We were maggots before. So, we just need to have this understanding. Apart from speaking in parables, how can we trust the translators of the Bible? How can we trust them? How can we trust them from uh, not hard, you know, from, uh, you know, deliberate alteration, manipulation, tampering with the verses of the Bible? That is why, like, you know, we have versions of the Bible, like, Revised Standard Version. You can see? Like, this Bible, this is Revised Standard, according to the, the big, the first paragraph of this, of the preface, the Revised Standard Version of the Bible is an authorized version of the American Standard Version. And even published in 1901, which was a revision of the King James Version, published in 1611. After seeing so many you know, huge and plentiful errors in the King James Version. And that version had to be published made, called uh, the American Standard Version. Now, another version had be to be published again. again. Since that one also was still full of errors called the Revised Standard Version. I think another version had to be published. made again called the New Revised Standard Version. You can see. And so many reasons for this uh, new revision had been, had been explained in this book, just like what I've just quoted before. So we can see so many, so many. So and then uh, we should, let me just quote something. Now, let me just quote some of these things. Uh, the King James Version has with good reason, it has been has with good reason been termed the noblest Monument of English prose. Its revisers in 1881 expressed admiration for its simplicity and its dignity, its power, its happy tones of expression, the music of its cadences, and the felicities of its rhyme. It entered as no other book has into the making of the personal character and the public institutions of the English speaking people. We owe to it an incalculable debt. Yet, the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision, revision of the English translation. As to call for revision of the English translation. The task was undertaken by authority of the Church Inc. of England in 1870, the English Revised Version of the Bible was published in 1881 to 1885, and the American Standard Version is variant embodying uh, the prefaces, prefaces of the American scholars associated in the work was published in 1901. Let me just jump. Let me just jump to somewhere here. So. The present, uh, I think, just come here. Sometimes it is evident that the text has suffered in transmission. You can see. But none of the ver versions provide a satisfactory restoration. Here we can only follow the best judgment of competent scholars as to the most proper reconstruction of the original text, such as such corrections are indicated in the footnotes by the abbreviation 
CN and the translation of the masturbatic text is added. So let me just jump again because I've uh, quoted and read uh, these things before. I think in, in this video or in another video. So, uh, so let me just, the King James Version of the New Testament was based upon a Greek text that was marred by mistakes. Containing the accumulated errors of 14 centuries of manuscript copying, it was essentially the Greek text of the New Testament as edited by Beza, 1589, who closely followed that published by uh, Erasmus, 1516-1531, which was based upon a few medieval manuscripts. The earliest and best of the eight manuscripts which Erasmus consulted was from the 10th century, and he made the least use of it because it differed most from the commonly received text. Literally, access, had access to two manuscripts of great value, dating from the 5th and 6th centuries, but he made very little use of them because they differed from the text published by Erasmus. We now possess many more ancient manuscripts of the New Testament and are far better equipped to seek to recover the original one wording of the Greek text. The evidence for the text of the books of the New Testament is better than for any other ancient book, both in number of extant manuscripts and in the nearness of the date of some of these manuscripts to the day when the book was originally written. The revisers in the 18th century had most, had most of the ex evidence that, that we now have for the Greek text, though the most ancient of all extant manuscripts of the Greek New Testament were now discovered until 1931, but the lack of results which discoveries within the past 80 years have afforded from understanding the vocabulary, grammar, and idioms of the Greek New Testament. Let me just stop there. So, uh, you can now see, you can now see that uh, we can never trust the work of uh, the translators and, you know, interpreters. So, and, uh, apart from all what is written here, we can have something like this in uh, the, what do you call the version? The new world translation of the Jewish news, who, uh, where we find uh, where, it is, it, where it is written that errors in the Bible are more than 50,000. So they had to you know, make their own version. So, uh, you know, publish their own version. Right? So we can just um, try to stop here and just make you to understand these things. Apart from that, there are so many places in the Bible, like some persons writing some. Uh, Mark in Mark and have been expounded away from the Bible because the, 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 uh, the writers claim that those verses are not, they are just, uh, you know, the side, uh, uh, side writing of uh, certain, you know, vessels and Christian theologians that were added to, to the book of, you know, that found their, you know, way into the, into the book of Mark in, in, a way, in one way or the other. So uh, now we can't trust this. That's why we say we need to have this understanding. Well, to quote so many places in the Bible, in the Bible you understand that even Jesus is actually a man. You know, a man. It's not as people tell me. And this teachings that he's a man, he's a God, he's a God, Trinity, yeah, he's a God in Trinity, the Son of God, he died for us, he was crucified. Was, was basically teaching of Paul. You can never find them in the gospel. I only find him in the teaching of Paul and Paul himself, the, the, you know, so you know, he himself, uh, what do you call it? He, he, he confessed that, that all these teachings were, were his own, you know, uh, uh, innovation, assumption. You know, he said, Man, he is, even though it is a man of, uh, with his, the word of man, but if it be confirmed, let man. Disagrees with it, or you can see. Let no man disannul it. So, and so many ways, like you say, uh, uh, let, let me, uh, this thing, like for example, when he was asked to make judgment on virgin, on virgin, he said, As to the virgins, I have no authority, but I suggest, so you can see all these things that are just ones that you make, try to make the word of God. You can see. So, we need to be careful. Uh, Allah has said something in the Quran in Shorta number two that's woe to them who wrote with their own hand words 
and made it and called them and made it the word of God. And God said, why don't you love me so that they can you know God said so in order to make money there from to so that they can sell it to go and make it and God said, go to them from what their hand uh, from what their hand has written which they call the word of God and go to them about what uh what to them concerning what they earn from them. So uh So let's say those who wrote books and then say it's from God, let's say go to them. So I think although I'm not I didn't quote the verse accurately, but that was the word of God in the Quran. That's Allah, you know, so we need to um, be very, very mindful and you know and you know even the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth should set you free. You can see. So uh may uh God make us from one, from one among those who will hear the truth and will listen to and hack and hear it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yes, to understand better that Jesus speak, uh, spoke in parables. So, for example, in, in Luke, when someone told him that you are uh, you are a judge or something like that, then, and someone told him that. Uh, like uh, and one of the company said to him master speak to my brother that he divided the inheritance with me and he said to him man who made me a judge or a divider over you you can see you that called Jesus the judge uh, we will come to judge the world and uh, judge the world you, you can hear what he just said who made me a judge or a divider in fact in another uh, verse he said in another uh, place he said I have not come to be a judge over anybody, but rather I have come to separate between a brother, between two brothers. You can see. So as I said, Jesus used to speak in parables. So now, if you want to take, if you want to accept this literally, you know what name we call Jesus? A separator between between brothers, between a father and his son, and his son. Between a man and his wife, he's a, mis a mischief maker. He's a you know someone you know like we can call him so many names that you call the term Muslim today. But no, because we know that he spoke in parables. What he meant there was actually to separate between two brothers, and anyone that follows him will will have you know disagreement. With his brother that doesn't follow him. His own is worship other than God, and his own follow Jesus have called into to the worship of God. There will be disagreements. And that's why all these other scribes, all the you know the uh, twelve disciples, they had you know problems with the family. And we all know in what the record of what uh, what happened to them. Some of them were cast into fire. Some of them were crucified. Peter, you know, a lot of them were, were, were killed. I think it's only Peter that, 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 and I think John too, because John was thrown into a cauldron of, of oil, of, you know, a very hot oil. You no, know, but miraculously he was saved. Just Peter too, you know, survived. He was later the head of the Catholic Church. So that was actually, that's actually what he meant. So even this verse I just quoted, you can see so many places, even immediately, and he, and he spoke a, a parable to them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. You know, so many places that you, you find that Jesus spoke in parable. In John Luke, Luke 13, verse 6, you see, he spoke all this parable. A certain man had a fruit tree planted in his vine, in a vineyard, and he came and sought fruit uh, there on, and found none. So, a lot of places you find Jesus spoke, speaking, so you find Jesus you know, spoke in uh, parables, so many places. Then he began to speak to the people in parable. A certain man planted the vine. You can see that is in uh, chapter twenty, verse nine. That's why.